Hello wine people, in the previous video I explained factors in the vineyard, also called terroir, that are affecting style, quality and price of the wine. In this video I'll explain grape growing, actions that are required in order to make healthy ripe grapes in order to make wine. With this channel we're changing the world of wine, so if you want to change the world of wine, pass your WSAT exam or just learn a little bit about wine, this channel is for you. So let's go! So we'll be talking about training, pruning, trellis and canopy. I'll explain all these terms, what they, what they mean. What you need to uh, understand on the beginning is that wine as a plant, its main purpose is not actually to grow healthy ripe grapes that we need in order to make uh, wine. Its main purpose is actually to grow as a plant, its woody and, and green parts. And this is actually not good. Uh, because if the plant is focusing on the on the green and, and woody parts, then it's not fo focusing on the ripening of the grapes. And that's why it needs to be managed in order to, to redirect these uh, resources in growing healthy ripe grapes. So that's why you have viticulture and people that um, do this in the vineyard. We'll be talking about irrigation, pests and diseases, yield, harvest, and on the end we'll uh, answer 10 WST level 2 uh, type of questions. Okay. Training, pruning and trellising. Uh, training. Training is the shape of the, of the vine in the, in the vineyard. And here on this picture you can actually see the names and how some of the training system looks like. Uh, cordon spore, single gill, silvers, layer, uh, Scott Henry. So this is some of the some of the examples of this training system. Uh, you don't need at at, at level two um, point. You don't need to understand how all this works. You need to be aware of it. Uh, and later on, if if you're still interested, you can go deeper into this subject. What you need to understand at this point the different um, training systems are used in different vineyards uh, they depend on the needs uh, of the of the wine in that particular vineyard um, usually bigger wines when I say bigger wines meaning they have more woody parts um, they're used in vineyards that there's a lot of input in, when I say input, I mean a lot of uh, sun, a lot of heat, a lot of nutrients, and a lot of water. On the other hand, if you don't have a lot of inputs, or if you're lacking inputs, you need smaller wines. Because, uh, because these big wines, they can absorb all these inputs. In a, in a climate where you don't have all these inputs, you actually need smaller wines because you don't have enough resources to spend on, uh, on the, on the wine. Um, uh, there's also one, it's not actually a training system, but it's called a bush wine. Uh, and it's usually used, it's not supported, uh, by trellis. And it's usually used in, um, in, uh, in a drier climates. Uh, pruning. Pruning is the term that describes cutting uh, the woody part of, of, of the wine it, and it shapes, uh, shapes the, the, how the wine looks like. On this picture here you can see a uh, trellis. Trellis is this additional support that the wines have in the vineyard and it usually consists of wires, metal wires and uh, poles at uh, which the wires are connected and this this is the supporting system for the for the wines. Canopy canopy means this uh, green uh, green part of the wine, so shoots, leaves, uh, tendrils, grapes. All this needs to be managed in order to produce um, healthy grapes. Sometimes you have a lot of foliage which you need to uh, that you need to cut. Sometimes uh, you have the sun is too hot, and this foliage can help you to protect the, the grapes. Irrigation. Irrigation is uh, 
the, there's uh, several ways to do it. Irrigation is basically a process uh, for the wines to get uh, water. Um, if there's enough uh, rain during the during the season, then irrigation is not required. Also, irrigation in Europe is highly regulated. Uh, some of the vineyards are actually not allowed to uh, irrigate, uh, only in case uh, severe drought issues with the request they can irrigate. Um, several ways to do irrigation. Um, one, the cheapest way, there's the cheapest way, there's the most uh, expensive and most efficient way. Uh, the cheapest way is uh, flood irrigation, which is used in, uh, for example, in Argentina. Uh, they have reservoirs of water and then when they need to irrigate the vineyards, they, they just let the water flow inside the, the vineyard. Um, uh, second way, like, uh, like you see on the, on the picture is also not very efficient. Uh, it's uh, just a sprinkler system that sprinkles uh, water, uh, around and it's not really effective. There's a lot of, uh, wastage, uh, and also creates humid conditions in the winter, which are not, um, really good, uh, because they create, they can create, uh, fungal diseases in the, in the vineyard. And then the best but the most expensive uh, way is drip irrigation system where each wine plant gets its own uh, dripper and this is the most efficient, the most opti optimized uh, but most expensive way to, to irrigate. Uh, weeds, pests and diseases. Um, some of the main problems in the uh, in the vineyards are weeds, pests and diseases. Um, uh, diseases like uh, fungal diseases are most common. Fungal diseases um, are created in the vineyard because of the excess amount of humidity and this needs to be managed. Um, and uh, what uh, what is usually done in a, in a chemical way, so in the vineyards, there's a lot of uh, chemicals used. So for fungus, they use fungicides. For uh, weeds, uh, weeds, the uh, people use uh, herbicides. And then for pests in the vineyard, they use pesticides. Um, today, uh, people are getting more and more aware that this is not the best way. This is not the most uh, healthy and sustainable way to do it. So there's other ways. Um, to um, to manage the vineyards and then not just you know not just having a, a, a system a schedule of uh, spraying but actually you know understanding your vineyard and there's a system called uh, raisonné in French which basically means that your if you need to spray you spray it when it's actually really really necessary not whenever you want uh there's also a uh, organic way to do it so organic way means that you're not using any any chemicals and usually on the on the wines that are made in organic way you'll see that on the on the label uh and then there's also a step up uh from organic which is called uh, biodynamic so here you can actually see uh some natural remedies that are created uh, and they're used to, to spray the vineyards instead of using uh, chemicals. Yields. Yield means the amount of grapes um, on, a, on a certain area, usually on a hectare or an acre that is produced in a, in a growing season. Uh, in order to produce uh, healthy, uh, healthy uh, quality grapes, you need to have enough amount of sunlight, heat, uh, nutrients, water, and carbon dioxide. Yields uh, are regulated uh, by law in, in Europe. Um, uh, yields, of, <coughs> sorry. yields affect uh, the quality of the grapes. So usually higher yields uh, can dilute the, the flavors of the, of the grapes and, and the wine and lower yields uh, can concentrate the, the flavor of, of grapes. But of course, not any of the vineyards are the same. So this kind of amounts of yields uh, are determined by 
uh, by the region e itself. Uh, harvest is the process of uh, picking harvesting grapes on the end of the growing season. Here what you need to uh, consider is the way that you harvest and the timing of, of the harvest. The timing of the harvest um, determines the final style of, of the wine. So if you pick the grapes earlier, you're going to get fresher, fresher grapes, more elegant grapes that have more acidity, less sugar. Uh, if you pick, you can pick when the, the grapes are perfect, perfectly ripe or you want to leave the grapes to, uh, to be picked uh, later in, in the season, later harvest, and this will create more sugar and less acidity. Maybe you want to create a, a sweet wine and this can be beneficial for that style of wine. Uh, uh, some style of wine require uh, to be picked by hand, for example. Like, for example, uh, Tokai wines, Waterside wines, Burgund, uh, sorry, Beaujolais or Champagne, they by law need to be um, picked by hand. What you need to understand here is that both of these ways, hand harvesting and machine harvesting, have their advantages and disadvantages. But that doesn't mean that one is better than the other. You can produce, uh, you can produce premium wine with hand harvesting. You can also produce premium wine with machine harvesting. Uh, hand harvesting is more labor, uh, labor intensive and it's more selective, uh, but it is um, slow or slower than, um, than machine harvesting. Machine harvesting is not as selective, um, but it's efficient, it's fast. And you know, if you, if the timing is the, uh, is important for you, the speed, efficiency of, of the harvest, then uh, machine harvesting is, is, a, is a better choice. Uh, but if you're producing premium wine and you're doing machine harvesting, most probably you have um, uh, uh, sorting tables in the, the vineyard where you're going to separate the, the grapes from uh, matters other than, than grapes. You ready for the, for the questions? Let's go. Uh, wine pruning is done in spring, summer, autumn, winter. Correct answer is D, winter, when the wine is dormant. Most of uh, efficient irrigation method is drip, sprinkler, flood, rain. The correct answer is A, drip system. Using chemicals in the vineyard is an organic way to grow grapes. True or false? False. Which one is correct? Yield do not uh, yields do not affect wine quality. Yields are regulated by a law. Uh, yields are same every year. year. Uh, yields are not affected by weather. Which one is correct? Yields are not affected. Uh, yields are regulated by a law. Yields are... The correct answer is B. Yields are regulated by a law. Actually, for this one, yields... Um, the correct answer is also yields are, are not uh, yields are not affected by weather. No, sorry. <laughs> the correct answer is B. Yields are regulated by law. Uh, which one is not correct? Timing of the harvest determines the style of wine. This is correct. Machine harvesting can be used in all vineyards. This is not correct. Hand harvesting is labor intensive. This is correct. Hand harvesting is necessary for some wine style. This is correct. So correct answer is B. Machine harvesting can be used in all vineyards. Uh, this is something that I didn't mention. Um, some, uh, sometimes the, the vineyard location will not allow uh, grapes to be picked by by machines because uh, it's too steep and you need to uh, hand harvest. Machine harvest is used only for cheap wines. True or false? And we said this is false. Which of the following is part of a wine canopy system? Shoots, leaves, uh, shoots, canes, cordon, leaves, flower, all the above. The correct answer is all the above. 
just to, for me to clarify, because I I, uh, I didn't mention, uh, shoots is the, the green part of, of the wine. Uh, sorry, shoots are the brown part of the wine. Canes, uh, no, sorry. Shoots are the green part of the wine. Canes are the brown part of the wine. And then the corton is more than one year old uh, wood. Canes are one year old. Shoots are the, um, the green part which is the this year's growth. Uh, canes are one year old wood and then cordon is more than one year old wood. So they're going to be more sturdier uh, and more brown, more darker in, in color. Leaves are leaves, flowers are flowers. So a canopy system is all the above. Trailer system supports wine canopy. True or false? This is true. Chemicals are allowed in organic viticulture, true or false? False. Which chemicals are used to combat weeds? Pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, Bordeaux mixture. The correct answer is B, herbicides. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your time. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, sharing and commenting. This will help us to grow our wine channel and to change the world of wine together. I'll see you in the next video.